Hi guys, welcome to my project box. Uh, since I'm here back in the UK, let's talk about uh, uh, plugging European appliances into a socket in the United Kingdom. Obviously the UK uh, has its own style socket which is completely different uh, to the uh, European style plugs. And of course uh, the first thing to do is to take a travel adapter and simply plug it into the socket and that way you can plug your appliance with your uh, Euro style plug, plug it in there, whether it be the Shoko style bigger plug or the smaller one like this for smaller loads. Now, you might have seen one of these uh, little tricks that people do, which is kind of considered, um, you shouldn't really do it, it's considered unsafe. And I would agree, I, can, I cannot endorse that people do this. But from an electrical standpoint, it's probably safer than using one of these adapters because this. Um, this is another point of weakness. You have an electrical connections that make connect connections in there. Then you have these flimsy bits of metal which are made out of who knows what from China that have to make connection to this. And often than none, they often than none they're they're very flimsy and they never make a good connection. They arc. And it's really not very good, even though it's recommended to use an adapter. Um, but there is another way, and of course it's not the right way but it can get you out of trouble. Now this does not fit into an English socket, these small style Euro plugs, they, they won't go in. But it's not because they're not big enough to go in, they, they're actually the right size. They're, they're more or less the same thickness, pretty much. Um, it's because these uh, shutters don't open unless there's an earth pin that goes in first. So if you open up the earth pin by putting preferably a, a British plug earth pin in there. The um, shutters open up and this will now go in fairly easily, just go straight in there. And you actually have a surprisingly good electrical connection since these prongs here are approximately the same, the diameter of those um, connections of those prongs there are basically the same as this thickness here. So electrically this makes a very good connection and I've tested this it makes it, it's surprisingly good connection actually in some cases much better than um, using some of these dodgy adapters so um, I don't recommend you do this but in a pinch you can get away with it and I would say if done properly it's electrically safe as well even though 90% of people will argue that this is extremely safe and probably in the comments you guys will tell me how unsafe this is so just as a side note I would never recommend you actually do this with the British socket plug itself because this can provide up to 32 amps on a ring circuit which is something unique to the UK and uh, all British plugs are protected with a 13 amp fuse whereas in Europe you're on um, smaller lower current circuits probably 16 or 20 amp circuits on a radial so I don't recommend you do this even though it is technically possible in some of these sockets to um, open the shutter on the earth bin and then uh, putting your small euro plug in there. I would always recommend that you use an extension cord that has a plug on the end if you're going to do this because that has a 13 amp fuse which means your um, measly little 4 amp plug would at least be protected by some sort of fuse. So this could be, so the shutters could be defeated and you could plug it in there, like so. Yeah, so another another problem with some of these adapters is um, they're not fused. And in the UK, obviously, you have your 32 amp circuit. And uh, these measly plugs and their cords can't withstand 32 amps. So a lot of the good quality adapters have got, say, like a 3 amp fuse or something in them. Um, but obviously, uh, you, you don't know what this contact material is like and what the quality is like, and you, you don't know if your adapter is actually rated for the proper current. Sometimes it's just cheap Chinese rubbish. So in that case, I think it could be acceptable in certain circumstances to, to do this and uh, just go straight in. One less point of weakness. And uh, of course, using an extension lead is a good idea because the other end of it has the fuse in it to protect you against that almighty um, 32 amp circuit that they have in the UK. 
Um, so yeah, I would not recommend you do this directly on a wall socket because uh, you don't have uh, protection against that 32 amp socket. But uh, yeah, I mean, some adapters are good, some are bad. But uh, I think in some cases you can go straight in. Um, I wouldn't recommend anybody try this, but if, if you're careful, I think this actually makes a very good electrical connection and one less point of fa failure. And you much better than some of these really flimsy, weird brassy materials they use in some of these cheap adapters. So let me know what you guys think. Um, if people should do this kind of thing. Um, personally, I think it's okay. As long as you don't stick anything in those ones and just uh, open up the shutters with with something safe and then these go in here fairly easy like that the only thing I would say is you cannot do this with the Shroko style plug the bigger one that has the earth terminals on it you can only do it with the smaller style one that the one like that has this sort of diamond shape these I think are rated for like up to three amps or something like that so they're for very small loads like mobile phone chargers toothbrushes toothbrush chargers or you know, anything with a, a heavy load, these plugs aren't designed for. But uh, yeah, they can actually go into a British socket, although not the correct way to do it. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. <laughs>